Hey guys, it's Brango15 from the OJMC, and I'm here. And it's me, Maxium. Yep, we're playing Diablo 3. We're on our uh, level 56 ish characters. Well, I'm 56, he's 58. What's I'm up? a wizard, he's a monk. And we're going to show off an EXP farm that can also get you a bit of gold. Not a lot, like 5k. But it's really good for XP. It's around I, like 100k. Yeah, my level. Well, I'm getting about. 100k experience per run and each run takes like two to three minutes if you're really quick so that's pretty good like last time i got 104k experience so you'll notice my experience bar i'm at 751,000 right now at the end i'm gonna bet that i'm gonna be at 856,000 about that that's my guess so, you want to explain a bit about what you need to do this run, Maxim? Alright, so to do this run, you pretty much just want to have basic gear. You don't need anything special. Try and get a bit of gold find if you want to get extra gold in the farm. Um, and try to have uh, movement speed boots. That's about all you need, pretty much, for this farm. Nothing special. Um, but just for your passive and your skills, try to get something that gives you uh, lots of DPS. Ah. Um, like I'm running right now with like 5k DPS, which isn't that bad. It's it's actually really good for a uh, hell act one. But um, yeah. So uh, each monster in this farm or act one hell anyway, they give you about like 1k experience each, which is pretty amazing for the amount that we kill. Um. And the way it works is that we pretty much just kill the three wretched mothers. Uh, after that, like the 16k experience, then um, we go kill the wretched queen. Then we were, uh, give the quest back to Captain Rumford, and he gives us 44k. So just from doing the quest itself, it gives us around like 50k experience, which is pretty good. We also like to take a detour if it's there and go into the dank cellar because you can get a bit of gold and some experience in there, and it's pretty good. Yeah, it's right up it. here, if it's open. it's open. Yeah. It's a random chance. Each time you uh, reload the world, it'll just like randomize if it's open or closed. If it's open, you'll get around like one to two gold or one to two. Ah, oh, it's closed. It's uh around one to two k gold. It's not that great, but right here, it just helps. You can also get some. It's usually two magics, but I've gotten rare multiple times from that spot, so. Uh, you can have magic find, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Because, like, the magic items you're getting in Act 1 Hell are pretty crappy anyway, so... Did you mention that you should have a ruby in your helmet? Oh, uh, yeah. Get a ruby in your helmet for sure, because it will increase your uh, experience you get by quite a lot. So we just killed the Wretched Queen. I got a square topaz. Not bad. So sometimes we like to go down here and just clear out any groups of mobs that are down here. And, uh... We go in this uh, cellar over here. What is it? The Dark Cellar? Yeah. Uh, that usually has, it sometimes has a super unique, which is the yellow monster, or it might just have like a bunch of normal mobs. So let's go down. Yeah, it's just uh, normal mobs. Oh, fun. But there's quite a few still, which will, this gives us like, around like 10 to 15k experience, which is pretty good. Not bad at all. There's a chest here, look at that. Got a rare from this chest last time. So. Yeah, got a magic square amethyst, pretty good. So All right. Now, we're just going to head back to New Tristram and end the quest. Yeah. And we will see how much experience I got and see if my guess was right. Probably going to be off by like 1k. Thank you for your help. Nor should she. And 44k experience and uh, 1.2k gold received. Cool. Oh, off by 2k. Look at that. 857,000 <coughs> experience. That's pretty good. That's like 100 and what was it, like six, 106,000 XP? Which is pretty amazing for like a three minute run. Like you gotta, that's better than any farm that's been Quite honestly, so since we were like explaining everything, we were pretty slow, so you could probably do it a lot faster and get a lot more. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you could do this on Inferno. We don't have Inferno unlocked yet. We're working there. I'm on like Act 2, near the end of Act 2. I'm near Belial. Um, Inferno, the only problem I would think of having is that, um, since we do it with two players, since you get more experience with two, uh, people, 
Inferno, you'd be getting, like, one hit pretty often, so I don't know if that would slow your time down or if you could just kite him or not, but the whole point of the farm is to kill as many monsters as possible, so I don't think Inferno would work as well as Hell does. Yeah. So, I'm sorry if the quality of the video, sound and video, isn't very good, but it's my first time recording any Diablo, so we'll yeah. just have to see. And please give us some feedback, it helps. And um, I'll be putting out a video on my monk build in a while, once I get my new computer, which will be by the end of this weekend. Oh, no, I don't want to search for your uncle. You're terrible. Go away. So, All right. that's the video. See you guys. See you later.